Yo, what is up guys? Um, this is Mars Man and I'm here to show you how to make an MKG Type B. Okay, it's my first time doing a video with a camera setup and that. I'm going to try and edit it pretty well, pretty nicely. This is me. Um, <coughs> yeah, so this is, I want people to see that you can make this kind of stuff, make this kind of music without the live instruments. You, it, it's faux live instruments, you, you having things that sound like live instruments, um, but they're not live instruments. Anyway, I'll start, I'll start with the guitar. So, so, oh, my phone is going off, professional. It's going off big time. Right, um, so I'm gonna start with the guitar. So. I've got strum session. Now, strum session, I'm sure there's a lot of other VSTs that do a similar thing, but in this one, it starts in keyboard mode, you switch to loop mode, see where it says play mode on the left, um, and then you can loop, so it'll play a chord, um, and you can make it play a minor chord if you uh, press the black note below it, or as you can see, you can map out the chords and it'll play those chords. So, I have, this is for the beginning of the song, it's a muted guitar, it's on the folk pop setting, um, and I'll go through the effects that I have on it as well now. So I've got a chorus, not much change when you add fruity chorus. Got a delay, just switches to the time one, it gives it that kind of 80s feel. It's, instead of reverb, they use a lot of delay, it gives that feeling, which I feel like MKG is brilliant at doing. Um, and then, because it's the intro of the song, we want a little bit of a build up. We've EQ'd the highs and lows out. It's predominantly in the mid range, um, bit in the bass. Um, but, you know, the sort of effect you just play around with, and we have a fruity limiter to make it a bit louder. So, this is the chords that I played on my one of my beats that are MKJ, uh, MKG type beats. Okay. Very simple chords. Right. And to layer that with a bass, and I use um, contact, and I use session basis, prime bass, uh, the muted one on Steady Rock. Um, love it, I use it a lot in a, in a lot of my beats. So, here we go. Got a guitar rig on it too. Just a chorus bass. made it louder with a limiter and another chorus on it so that gives it the 80s feel in my opinion which MKG does a brilliant job at so let's go for the drums so I've got a MKG drum kit I found it on reddit if you ask in the comments I'll link it um, but we'll go through it now so here's the kick kick two in the drum kit I haven't changed the names open a hi-hat um, once again, not change the names, they're in there. So the snare's the only thing that I do anything crazy with, where I've added a delay on it. So let's go to 18. Just a simple delay on the one setting again, in the time, um, inverted. You know, you can see what it is, you can copy it if you want to. Um, and then, just this cool little percussion, you know, gives, uh, it gives a little bit of something to it. So, let's play that together. Um, also, I guess I'll go through the vocals that I've done on it too in a second, but we'll play that together. So we got that there. Just double checking that I'm still recording. I am still recording. Right, so I also added vocals in the beginning. I tried to make a whole song with this, but I'm not MKG. But there's some cool effects I think people might want to use. So he gives it almost a back back and vocal feel. That is back and vocals. Yeah. Sounds a bit funny on the sound. It's really in the background. Sounds cool. Trust me, it sounds cool with it. Just freestyling something. I'll play it all together. Can't sing that well, but I try. Uh, 
So let's move on to the basic chorus section. So for this, it all comes together a little bit. So we've got Xenology here. If, you, if those of you who use will get it. Great, great little piece of uh, software. Um, 70s electric piano. Um, I'll play those chords on their own. One second. So pretty cool. Same chords, but yeah, they're a um, little bit more going on the bottom. Um, same bass, but the guitar is different. So but let's listen to this. So you can see what effects, what setting I've got it on. The hip hop section, Dreadnought. And uh, the effects would be two choruses, because I'm crazy, and with a delay. Drums change slightly. Just a extra hi hat on it, but we'll let it go into it like this. Extra snare too, but it's got that dreamy feel to it, and I think I think that's what makes it that style of music. Now it's not ever going to be as good, you know, I don't have all the stuff that, all the talents that MKG has, but that is essentially how you make that kind of uh, beat. Um, there's not much else to it to mine. Obviously it would be, this is a basis for, to be expanded on. But yo, I think, um, I think it's, it's close enough that you know you if you can get that close you can take it even further so look i hope you enjoy guys and i'll be back again soon with some more content i'm uh, recording a few videos today going through a few styles and yeah i hope you enjoyed and check me out another time subscribe like comment love you guys peace